Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. I'm Stacey, if this is the first time we are meeting. So today, I'm feeling rather invigorated. I took a couple of days off because things have just been cray cray for me and I just needed some downtime, so I did that for myself. Today, uh, we are going to, as promised, I'm going to show you how to can your own pineapple just using plain old jars, um, that you can get at op shops you don't have to have special lids or anything like this please don't come at me in the comments um, because over in New Zealand we use these types of jars for canning all the time with no issues doesn't mean that I'm still not going to do the mason jars with the proper lids for my pressure canning and things like that but just for pineapple I'm going to show you how you can do it without any special equipment all you need is a good sized pot that will hold the jars and um, pineapples, uh, somebody in the comments let me know that pineapples were $2.99 at Pack and Save and hmm, I'm having a rethink about not shopping at the supermarket at all because oh, I'm going to leave that for another video but anyway, so if you can grab pineapples really cheap at the moment it's good to pop some in, into the jars, can it safely and I'll show you how and it will save you loads of money and the taste is non-comparable it is that good so I do have a video already about it but that's using special equipment all right so I'm just going I, I chucked the pineapples in the fridge from my last shot with me I'm hoping that they're good because I've been away for about four days and we will chop them up and we'll make up a light syrup they're looking good I think they should be just fine so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to grab an apron but I'm also going to grab my chopping board and um, a big pot and I'll show you that in a second and then we'll start chopping up these pineapples. So the equipment you're going to need is a big pot that's just um, one of my big ones and a lid to go with it um, and if you've got something round that can fit into the bottom of the pot you need that. This one doesn't fit that pot unfortunately. Um, Actually, I need two pots. I need one for water bath canning these and one for the syrup and the pineapple. So I'll grab my other one out. So these are some of the jars I've got. So this one's a Patex Patekas. Pat Patex? Oh, you know, you know, like butter chicken. Um, I've got a, I think that was probably um, like a tomato relish. And I've got this cool little jar here. I've got these lovely little jars. And I've got rings and lids for them. And then I've just got my normal Good Life jars as well. Um, I'm going to grab a couple more of these type. I would rather have more jars heating and not need them than have to heat up more jars. So grab more jars than you think you're going to need. And all I do is chuck them in the dishwasher put them on a quick cycle and then they're hot and they're ready for you. You don't have to sterilize jars anymore because the processing them sterilizes it. So yeah, so I'm going to pop all these jars into the dishwasher, put it on a quick wash which is about half an hour and then we'll come down and we'll start cutting up these pineapples and I'll show you what I do. Alright, so I've put those in the dishwasher and I've chucked the lids um, the lug lids in there as well just to get, make sure that they've had a wash um, I'm using this book here which I will link in the description below um, and you can um, buy that on Amazon so I'll link that in the description and I've just looked up syrups which is on page 140 and 41 what I normally do is just grab a pot chuck, um, chuck some water in there and um, chop the pineapple and just make sure that it's covered and that usually does me well for syrup as well um, but I will use a proper recipe so I don't like it too sweet so I'll go with the extra light rather than the ultra light so for five and a half cups of water it's one and a quarter so no I'll go the ultra light so ultra light is half a cup per five cups of water Right, so half a cup of sugar to five cups of water. So I'm just going to um, probably do maybe, 
I'll have a look and see how much 10 cups looks like. So that's five cups of water, so that is about that much. So you can see where my finger is. It's about that much, so I'm going to grab one cup of sugar. One cup of sugar. Yep. Forget I don't keep it there now. Oh, it's jammed on my finger. All right, so I'm just going to put that on the heat. Um, just at the moment, I'm going to put it on a low heat, and we want to dissolve that sugar. Right, so that's on, and. As far as the pot is concerned, what I'm going to do, because I don't have a rack, you can't place jars on the bottom of, of a pot because they will break because it's direct heat. So just grab yourself a tea towel and place that in the bottom and therefore the, the jars will be sitting on the tea towel instead. It's a little bit of a hassle, like, you know, it can... Um, um, you know, like the tea towel can move, but once you put the jars in there, it's good. So I'm going to half fill this warm water, that tea towel down the bottom, and I'm going to start heating up the water. So we're going to hot pack um, today, which means we're putting hot fruit into hot jars into a hot pot. Okay, so I've put about half half of water and I'm just going to turn that onto sort of like a low, we don't want it too hot. So everything's got to be slightly around the same temperature if you can get it. Um, so now we'll just pop, um, chop up these pineapples. I'll bring you down on the salt container. <laughs> so I've just got a bowl off to the centre, uh, off to the side there. You're just going to take the top and the bottom off. My grandchildren absolutely love my home pineapple when they came to stay last year. <laughs> they ate a ton of it. So I'm going to go and see them again next month. So I'm going to make up some more just to take down to them. Um, but besides that, I need, I need a lot more anyway. And this little bit here is just a bit bad so I'm just gonna chop that off okay so you just take off as much of this part as you can so you can use a smaller knife and just dig it up or you can just shave it off okay now what I do is I cut it down in half and then into quarters straight down the core and then I'm just gonna remove this core don't don't remove too much because that's good pineapple but the core can be a little bit woody so I've just used taken about that much off now what I'm going to do now that I've got that piece is I'm going to cut that piece lengthways in half all right and then I'm now going to cut again so what you have is pieces about that big all right you could do rings if you wanted to do rings, although they'll be harder to to can. Um, and I guess you could do crushed as well. I've never done crushed, but you could mince them up, I guess, and do crushed. But I find I just do the pieces, and if I want it crushed, I just run a knife through them. So that bottle is full, um, and that was just with two pineapples. So I'm going to pop that into the pot with the light syrup. Alright, there's another half a bowl. So I've turned this up, I'm just going to get my spoon, turn this up because we want to heat it, heat it up and it doesn't really need to be cooked as such because it will cook when you um, pop it into this pot here. Um, we're going to have to do probably two or three loads because these small pots don't really um, hold a lot of um, uh, jars and I do have some fatter jars but um, 
yeah, we'll, we'll do the lug lid jars first and I can hear my dishwasher is almost ready. And um, yeah, you still want this sort of um, at a medium low. So it's sort of halfway, well, yeah, halfway between low and medium. And I've turned this up to high just to get that syrup nice and hot and um, yeah, just to get it hot and, and dissolve that, that sugar. All right, so you can use all these pineapple scraps and make, um, you like, you can get a spoon and scrape, scrape these and make um, your crushed pineapple, or you can boil it down and make a pineapple juice. Um, however, I, I've never seen organic pineapples here in New Zealand, and I'm a little reluctant to do that because I just don't know what chemicals have been on the surface of the skin. Um, but if you want to, go for it. Um, plenty of people do it. Um, but my piggies and the chickens will, will love that treat. Alright, so basically I'm just waiting on the jars and I'm waiting on this to um, just come up to a, a simmer. Right, in the meantime I've got myself um, my chopping board. I've given that a wash. I've got all my rings off to the side. Now I'm going to get a, just a little ramekin of plain white vinegar. And I'm also going to put a splash of this white vinegar into the pot that the jars are going to go into. And what that does is it helps to keep the jars from going getting a sort of like a, a cloudy coating over the over the um, outside of the jars and I need typical it's like the toilet roll last person doesn't put a new one up I'm just gonna go do that You can use a cloth um, as well, but I've got a couple more of these to use up and then I won't be getting them again. That's replaced. Now, the other thing that I need is I've got a mat. I just picked this up at Kmart and I'm going to pop that down next to the stove and you have to have something to put down, it can be newspaper, it could be a towel, it could be a wooden um, chopping block, you can't use glass. Um, you want something because um, to put the jars on once they come out of the pot because you don't want to put them on a cold bench or you will get cracking. Um, before I put the jars in the dishwasher I made sure that there was no cracks um, around the rim or anything like that. I'm just going to grab a jar. Now over here in New Zealand for generations um, we've had jars called AG which I'll show you. Okay so this is an, an old AG jar so we've had them. They've been around since the 1930s I think. Another type we've got is Perfit. I use them and I've used them in pressure canning no problems. And then you've just got your normal jars so I went to a op shop and I got a huge bag of jars and I think I think they charged me like $2.50 um, and you just take eucalyptus oil is the best way to get rid of the, the sticky label but you can use these um, in, in New Zealand we've been using them for years as long as it's a lug lid so it's like this and it can be closed properly what happens is that it will seal and it seals just like a two piece lid. There's no difference. It does the same thing. So you will be able to hear that. So yeah, at the moment that's not sealed. Once it's sealed and it's vacuum packed, that will come down and you won't hear that sound. Right, so as long as you've got good jar, 
something like this. People even pressure can with these. Um, don't think I've tried pressure canning with these yet as I do have a lot of these types of jars anyway. So, but yep, you can perfectly do it. All right, so um, that's why I want to show you today how you can do it without any special equipment. So start saving your jars and jars are always um, great things to have around because you can use them in the pantry. You could put um, seeds in there or you could put oxo cubes in there and you can put um, oh, salt in there, peppercorns in there and it just helps with pantry moths. All right. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting on this and then um, I'll bring you down again onto the salt and I'll show you how to pack the jars. Okay, so this has just come up to a simmer or a boil and I'm just going to turn it off. All right, now that we can um, jar these up. Okay, that was good timing because my jars are ready. Grab yourself a ladle and I've just popped the pot down here into my sink. And I'm just going to grab one jar out at a time. You do need a funnel if you've got one. I've got an AG one, but you can get um, plastic ones. I'll link, I'll link some down in the description as well. So you you don't have to if you don't have one. It's just it's less mess if you do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to. Just ladle some pineapple into this jar. Just mostly pineapple at the moment. Okay, I'm just going to push that in and I can fit another couple in there. I'm just going to ladle some some of the syrup in there till about an inch from the top. Now I'm going to just use the end of a wooden spoon to debubble. You can buy special equipment, but we're doing no equipment. <laughs> so you just want to get all the bubbles out. Um, because things do settle down and that's the, the the syrup is about there so that's about an inch of headspace that's what you want so you want to take your paper towel dip it into the um, vinegar and then you're going to wipe the rim because there's there's some sugar that's on there and you want a good seal so, so I've washed that going to grab the lid, use my apron and just seal that and then I'm going to pop this jar into the pot with the tea towel but be careful you might you know you might want to use a, a tea towel. Grab another jar. There's too much in there, but once I debubble, it'll have room. There you go, so I've debubbled, and the pineapple is fitting in there quite nicely now. Grab the lid for this one, and just wipe that off as well. With this, you don't need to worry about the tightness. You want to do it as tight as possible, and um, that'll create a seal. All right. 
put that in as well. Okay, I'm just going to keep going. I can fit two more jars. Okay, so as you can see, this one, the small, shorter one, is already covered with water, but they all need to be covered with water. So I'll pop this jar in. Oh, that's hot. Let's give them a little bit of space. Now I need to have two inches of water above these jars here. I'm going to add some hot water to this pot. right up to the almost to the top but these are now covered and we pop the lid on and we want that to come up to a boil once it comes up to a boil turn it down um, to um, keep it at a boil but to um, not make it a vigorous boil once it's doing that then we will time it for 10 minutes so in the meantime, I'm keeping my other jars in the dishwasher with the door closed and I've got uh, enough pineapple to probably do maybe two um, bigger jars. Uh, obviously they won't fit in here. If I was using my big canner, I would fit them. But Yeah, so you don't want to fill these, um, the other jars until you're ready um, after these ones come out of the canner. Um, you must always um, make sure that the water is still above the jar lids as well. Okay, as you can see, it's more of a rolling boil. So you want to turn that down a bit because it's spilling over. It's calming down a little bit now. So I've turned it about halfway between half and high. So you still want it to sort of simmer but you don't want it spilling over. You still might have a little, little bit of spillage. Okay, start that for 10 minutes. Okay, so that's the timer, and I'm just gonna switch it off. Okay, switch it off, and just move it over, and I am going to actually remove the lid They're still covered. Hmm. Should turn that off. And I'm just gonna let that sit for 10 minutes, okay? Because we want it to, to just just cool down slightly and settle down. So I'm just gonna put the timer on for another 10 minutes. You can do five, but I, I like to err on the side of caution and do 10 minutes. I'm just gonna move this back here. Now, with the kit that I'll link, you would get one of these, a jar lifter. But of course, um, I'm not using that equipment today. So this is the handle end, and that's the end that you use the jars with. Very first time I used one of these, I did it the other way around. And I wondered why it didn't work, because these actually move. Um, yeah, so lots of people make that mistake. So that's the end that picks up the jars. All right, so I'm not going to use it though, because no special equipment. Because I can't lift these jars out, um, I will, I, I don't know, I could try a pair of tongs, I'll give that a go. No, see, I just don't feel safe using tongs. So I'm going to take some water out of here. And save it because we're going to use the water again. I'm just going to pop it there. And um, I'm just going to get a cloth and put them onto the mat. Get a dry one. And onto the mat. So be very careful. You can see where these 
this is much much easier. I'm just going to save my fingers for this and use the last one. Okay, that's how you use it. Alright, so I am ready to jar up the last of the pineapple and then just repeat the process. So I'm just going to do that now and then I'll come back after I'm finished. I actually picked up these jars, the beautiful quilted jars, from a 123 shop. So I'm doing some smaller jars if I only want a small amount. Okay, so I got two of this size, one of the big 500ml. And I'm popping those in. And I'll just pop the rest of that hot water back in. And that's that. So I'll have seven jars of pineapple out of the three. And they're good sized jars too. Um, so these jars haven't sucked down yet, but they will as they start to cool. I just want, wanted to mention, I've only got three jars in this pot. So there's a little bit more room for the jars to move around. These ones are okay, but say you only had one jar left to water bath can go ahead and grab some more jars and just fill them with water and pop them in there so that the jar doesn't fall around and stuff like that if I hope that makes sense but that's what you can do to um, you know keep your jars more stable I think these ones should be okay um, but that's just a little trick that you can use if you're down to one or two jars all right right so when I push down on the lid, you can't hear anything. See? That's, you don't want to hear anything. So I'm just pressing down on all those lids and you can't hear anything. That means it's sealed. If it's not sealed, you'll hear this. Okay, if that happens to any of your jars, you, well, you're now going to leave those jars for 24 hours on the bench like that. Try not to touch them. I know I, I am right now, but I know what I'm doing. So you just leave them alone. And after 24 hours or even after 12 hours, if you hear that, pop it in the fridge. All right. It just means that it hasn't sealed. All right. But these four first ones, I've only just taken the other ones out. These four first ones, there's no sound. So that means they're sealed. They're safe. All the ears come out and they're now vacuum sealed all right so yeah that's the only thing you need to look out for after 12 hours if you hear that pop it in the fridge it's still perfectly good to eat it's just not going to store and they will sit on your shelf for for up to a few years uh, never last that long in my home <laughs> so I hope that you um, have learnt something today and seen just how easy it is to do your own it does save you money if you buy things in season and um, jar them up yourself and just how easy it is to do it with um, the lug lids as well so start saving those jars all right and if you enjoyed this let me know in the comments and if there's anything else that you would like to see um, preserving wise um, let me know I know a lot of you are asking for tomato relish and um, I will definitely be filming that very very shortly Thank you for joining me and as always um, I hope to see you on the next one. Alright, bye for now.